You can categorize your contacts by using color. Like for example, let's say you've got 100,000 contacts in your contacts folder and you want to be able to identify those who are your vendors, your vendor contacts, your company contacts, personal and church. I mean, I don't want to go through here and go, okay, Harry Potter, he's a vendor. Now where's my other vendor? Scroll, scroll, scroll. You can go ahead and do a search, but in any case, there's a better way that we can go about doing this. I want to assign all those contacts for my vendors like the color category gray, and then the company blue, personal green, church yellow, and then I can go ahead and group them by color categories, so all my vendors will be grouped together by color, company, personal, and church, so I can just quickly go through and peruse through the vendors, and not have to, you know, go through all this or type in a keyword search. So first of all, let's go ahead and assign a color category to our contacts, select it, and you can see up here the current view that I'm in is business card. Click on the more button. You can choose whatever you want because it's going to be the same whatever view that you're in as far as coming up here on the home tab to the tags group. And remember I've got Sid the Sloth selected and then come up here to click on categorize and well he's already got tagged. He's a client. I can go ahead and deselect that or check something else. Now by default the categories are going to have something like red category, yellow category, blue category, or purple. Go down to all categories, and then of course you can come over here and select the red category. Well, you don't have to check it, you can just select it and click rename, and then just type over it and call it my fancy pants category, whatever works for you. And then from here, once you rename it, or you can delete it, or you can click on new and type in a new name for a category and choose a fancy color. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. You can also check or uncheck and check another category. Maybe Sid the Sloth is the happy event coordinator. So I've got a few of those. Click OK and he's been assigned that. So that was from the home tab from the tags group and you can double click on the contact to open it up. You can see happy events. You can come up here on the contact tab to the tags group which is available in the contact as well. Click on categorize and choose another. You can also right click on that and clear the happy events or all categories or choose another category. Of course it doesn't come with color once you right click on one that has already been tagged to it. So let me go ahead and close out and let's go to a different view. Change our current view, drop down to list because in our list view I can scroll over here, scroll, scroll, scroll and I get my categories column. Oh there we go and right here I can go ahead and right click and say it's apple picking and right click and also assign categories there in the category column but the problem is unless I have high resolution so I can squeeze more into my screen here I just don't like to scroll so what I can do is scroll back and then just click and drag the categories over and it gets closer and then I have to scroll back and click and drag again or better yet what you can do you can just come up here click on the view tab go to the arrangement group and click on add columns now we're not going to be adding columns although you could as we talked about in an earlier training video, but over on the right hand side, instead of clicking and dragging, dragging here, just select it here, categories, and move it up, 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 up. Okay, maybe that's too far. Maybe to full name, click OK, jumps over there. Let's go ahead and scroll over. Okay, it makes it easier so I can tie their name to the category that they've been assigned to. And let me just go ahead and do a few more apple picking because, oh, happy events, and oh, one Scooby Doo audition ought to do it. Okay, maybe two. Well, spooky. And then what I can do from this point is that if I'm looking through those contacts that are on the ghost hunting team or part of the ghost hunting group, I could go, okay, there's ghost hunt, and then I have to scroll down, okay, there's another one, and that's not very helpful. What I can do instead, once I have them categorized or color categorized, I can come up here on the view tab to the arrangement group and group them by categories. Click on it, and voila, there we go. All those who don't have categories are in one category, the none, and then you've got the apple picking, they're all grouped together. So if I just want to focus on the happy event coordinators, there you go. They're all grouped together. It's easy to spot and compare and contrast and say, oh, that's right. Sid the sloth is out this weekend. I got to use, hey, I'm in charge. I'll go ahead and do it. Let's see. You can come up here and you can expand or collapse all the groups and then just expand them one at a time as needed. And then you can right click on it as well and say collapse all or you can expand all. Ooh, that's quite fun. And then if you want to go back to the way it was, you don't want to group and buy categories, then up here on the View tab, we can go back to Company, and we're back to where we started, except the categories wasn't right next to it. Well, you know how to do it. You can click and drag it all the way over to the right-hand side to move it 
or just click on Add Columns so you can go ahead and rearrange it over here on the right hand side or you can go ahead and select Categories and move it down, 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 down. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.